Advocate Center, which is currently operated by Bell Self, is expanding. The old building on Franklin Street was too small, had limited parking and long wait times for appointments. They were only able to help a third of their children who need it. A child's innocence, something taken away from one in 10 children before they turn 18 every year, according to Best Self. But inside this building, lives are changed for the better. It's the Child's Advocacy Center, a center offering support and a healing place for children who've been abused. Thank you for joining us here uh, at the future home of the Child Advocacy Center at Best Self. And today, a big center announcement. We are at 80% goal uh, for our capital campaign to relocate the Child Advocacy Center. Moving it from Franklin Street onto Main Street and this new Best Self building that's currently under construction. Right now our Child Advocacy Center is in a small old mansion on Franklin Street and we can only serve about a thousand children a year. Which can be tight, Best Self CEO Elizabeth Wokiganga told me, especially when there's over 3,000 children experiencing abuse every year. They are victims of sexual abuse or severe physical abuse. All of the children who need the services of the Child Advocacy Center can get in quickly, can get comprehensive services. But they need extra help. Capital campaign was specifically for the Child Advocacy Center. It was originally set at 10.5 million. Uh, it's increased a little bit due to inflation. Mm -hmm. So we are right around the 10 million mark, and so we have about $2 million to go. So to ensure no child is left untreated, Best Self expects the newer and bigger space will allow them to reach more than a third of the children in need. What it shows is that we really do have a great need. It's our duty and our mission to take care of the most vulnerable and underserved folks in our community. Right now, the building is expected to be completed by summer of 2024. It will have extended hours and 24-7 on-call staffing. On your side in the newsroom, Keelan Berry and Channel 2 News.